Pen, baby. What are you still doing up? Pen wouldn't get to sleep. I finally just got him to go down. How are you? I'm okay. Um, just trying to finish up some diagnostics for the test tomorrow. Differentials are still giving you trouble. As always. I really wish you were here to help. Well, don't work too hard. It won't be much longer. I really think we're getting close. I love you. Love you too. Don't turn around. Listen, you can have the car, you can have my wallet. I don't want your money. What do you want? I've been sent by some very powerful men. They don't like the research you've been doing. Research? But I'm just a meteorologist. We both know that's not true. You've been working on a device with the theoretical ability to manipulate space and time allowing someone to jump between various points on the continuum. How do, how do you know that? Because after tomorrow's test, it'll no longer be theoretical. We need to talk. Who are you? I'm you. From tomorrow. No, that's... That's not possible. Your birthday is April 18th. Your social security number is 5465487891. When you were 16, you cheated on an algebra test and you felt so bad about it, you failed the next one on purpose. You never told anyone about that. Tomorrow's test was successful, but it had unintended consequences. I need you to help me fix them. What do you need me to do? Sam, I told her I was coming straight home. No, you didn't. You're right. So, do you know everything is gonna happen? I mean, have you done this already? No. None of this happened to me. Everything must have changed as soon as I came back. Diverging timelines. Yeah. So, how... Uh, How'd you get that? Do you have to ask so many damn questions? Sorry. It's my face, too. Take a left up there. Dove Spring Canyon. This is where Sam and I took our first camping trip. I know. There's the trailhead right up there to, uh, Rasmond Peak, where I proposed. What are we doing here? I tried to think of the last place I'd want to see before I died. What? I told you. The test had unintended consequences.
I ran home to tell Sam that the test was successful, but she and Ben were gone. The phone rang. It was a man's voice. He told me that what I had done was dangerous, that I had upset some very important people, and that I had to undo it, or else I'd never see Samantha and Ben again. He said that I had to use the device to go back in time to make sure that it was never invented in the first place. And the only way to do that was to kill you. I don't have a choice. Yes, yes, you do. Okay, let, let, let's, let's, just, let's just think about this. I have thought about this. You don't think I've tried to figure out another solution? But it hasn't even happened yet. Right, I, I, I mean, Sam and Ben are still safe. We could take them away. They'd find us. Okay, then I, I'll scrap the test. All right, I, I'll destroy my research. It's not enough. As long as you're alive, the idea is alive. And that's a threat to them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait. You, you can't kill me. If, if you kill me, you can't exist. If you don't exist, you can't kill me. It's a, it's a paradise. It doesn't matter. All that matters now is Sam and Ben, keeping them safe. Can we at least... Wait until sunrise. When I proposed. Yeah. I was so nervous. <laughs> I wasn't sure she'd say yes. She was just so beautiful. <laughs> so brilliant. What the hell was she thinking? <laughs> you know, this could have been her discovery if she hadn't left her own research to raise Ben. She knew how important the project was. I wish it hadn't been. I wish I'd spent more time with them. I wish... I know. Me too. So what'll happen to you? I mean, once I'm... dead, uh, will you just vanish? I guess we'll find out, won't we? Are you okay? Yeah. 
Travis. Where's Ben? He's sleeping. Where have you been? What's wrong? What happened nothing, to you? Nothing, 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 nothing happened. Everything's fine. Everything's fine now. Oh, God. What? We need to talk. 